Sat antenna deployed. Atomic microphones to power. Not check. One, two. Testing. Back computer online. In processing. Affirmative. Uh, how are you doing? You're, it's uh, Tatiana, is that right? Katya. Katya. I'm sorry, apologies. <laughs> um, so my crack research staff tells me you used to work the Hall H pounds, right? So, uh, and also you just came back from space. So my, I, I'm really wondering, where is there more pressure? Is there dealing with the fans in the line at Hall H or is going into the outer space? I think I would say dealing with the halls at Hall H because there's a lot of different factors involved. You're mm -hmm. freezing, first of all. Um, the those fans want to get to their seat and they want to watch their show yeah, yeah. and they want to save their seats and they want to do all the things they're not supposed to do oh, and they sure. want to ignore for you. For sure, so, for sure. Yeah. It is definitely stressful. Yeah. Uh, and you went with uh, William Shatner, right? Up, up into space? I did not go with him, but I went okay. on the same flight experience that he did. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, how would you compare those two experiences being in outer space and and working in the Hall H, like uh, is liftoff similar to those thundering hordes of fans coming through? I would say it definitely is a very different experience because when you're dealing with so many fans, you're also aware and conscious of how much love they have for what they're doing, how much love they have and passion that they bring with them to this experience and they want to be inspired, they want to love and greet and that is just such a beautiful thunder that you experience and mm -hmm. I cried every day watching those panels but especially watching them and the way that they felt inspired by them and when you're about to take off into space it is very much of a personal experience it's now like you're that fan mm -hmm. you're that fan about to witness something incredible and everyone else is watching you do it mm -hmm. uh, last one real quick can you describe your feelings and or emotions up in space looking down at earth i hear that that's life-changing there's something called the overview effect mm -hmm. which is the psychological change in perspective that occurs when you're able to look at the planet from the outside and it is something very real and it's been witnessed since astronauts first started going off into space it's been analyzed for a long time now but never really to the the point that we are at this moment psychologically, what actually is happening to us? Mm -hmm. Because I can tell you with 100% certainty that your life changes. That person that you were, you leave them out in space. And it's interesting because so many people think that in that moment you're gonna have all of these different wise thoughts come into your mind. But in that moment, you're looking, you're appreciating, you're 100% immersed and hypnotized by the moment. And it is not until afterwards that you're able to try to make sense of everything that you felt and you thought. Because in that moment, it just kind of feels like a jumbled up, hypnotized emptiness, just staring like a child. Mm -hmm. I'm getting goosebumps just talking about it. Like you're part of a pretty exclusive club now, right? All right, that's all I got for you. Thanks so much for Thank your time. You. Enjoy the rest of your San Diego Comic Con 2023. Microphones to power. Not check. One, two. Testing. Back computer online. In processing. Affirmative. Audio tapes to speed. Atomic batteries to power. <laughs>